have uh, one game to talk about really from the Women's Rugby Super Series um, which all wrapped up we were yep. uh, obviously going uh, we were building up some of the games we've been talking about it over the last few weeks it's been going on and it uh, it all boiled down to this week um, basically the Black Ferns and England duking it out for the championship and yeah. it was the it was the Black Ferns who got it done in the end and just overcoming two separate sin bidding periods that uh, they had to endure and yeah at the, like listen England had been had been sneaking wins and sneaking wins and they had been doing just enough and they looked like they were in the game again and, and mm. the Black Ferns got that yellow card and, and they just couldn't land the killer punch punch mm. and then the Black Ferns landed two or three killer yeah, punches beautiful, some beautiful that was tries that try that was scored by the winger mm. um, oh, that was put the game really beyond England was just a gorgeous try yeah. beautiful offloading rugby and just chopped up what had been a relatively slow paced yeah. game and similarly and was, was the, it uh, Kendra Coxich the nine Kendra Coxich, um, showing her TJ Piranara esque or Aaron Smith esque kind of ball and hand skills or bamboozling defenders she is a player of the tournament oh she's great yeah, yeah. And lovely footballer and like box kicks off both feet she was showing against yeah, the yeah. US picking them apart and mm. really catching them napping positionally yeah a proper, I think she was the difference yeah. Yeah, I think I she think was absolutely the difference probably looked like England don't seem to have a halfback that's as elite as that no, certainly yeah, yeah, and yeah. to be fair no team has shown no. that she is impressed she might be the best nine. in the world from yeah. nine um, yeah. has been an absolute handful for everyone to deal with mm -hmm. and yeah it was it was it was definitely a super fun tournament I mean the France saw off the USA dispatched the USA mm -hmm. in their last game to secure third place which was appropriate mm -hmm. and the unfortunate Canadians who had to do all of their runs in a row yes um were uh, in an unfortunate situation of um, having to be uh, <laughs> having to lose that game against the US and put a dampener on what had been a very good showing um, they lost a tight game but losing too many tight games isn't a good thing no they lost that tight game against the US on their last game which, which left I, them I, fourth and the US fifth and it was all probably quite appropriate yeah it, it's just had a wonderful colour to it I yeah, mean, on I the think pitch it's the best, one of the best ideas from World Rugby in quite a while yeah. but the execution of it was the only yeah. the only kind of mitigation for I just, it I think it would be yeah. you'd have been better off having it somewhere in Texas mm. for one a hop out for rugby a bit of or, like, or alternatively somewhere in England um, yeah. you know like it's it was yeah on the pitch uh, we've we've alluded to before, but there was just a lot of fun dynamics playing out. There were almost reminders of, of of sort of early era professional rugby, which is the stage that this is at. Yeah. One of which being just how much good value a great French team is. Yes. Because you still never know what they're going to do. They're yeah. going to beat the Black Ferns and mm -hmm. open the top competition, throw it wide open, and lose to Canada. And yeah. Then, then <laughs> it's also funny. Like, yeah. It's, it's, it's the just French it's, are just wonderful. The French yeah. are just wonderful and exactly right. Mm -hmm. And then the the Black Ferns did get the chance awesome. that they didn't get in 99 or 07 in yeah. the World Cup to, to avenge a defeat to France and mm. did it in some style yeah. and proved that they are the best team in the world yeah. because and they have the that was what was on the line as well as being the tournament on the line it was it was actually yeah. the, the number one spot because England have gone Grand yeah. Slam this year and then on through this so yeah but it was in the mm. end was it 26 or 28 13 I yeah. think 28, 28, 28 13, 28, 13 which is pretty clear daylight and like the second half performance from New Zealand even even with the sin bidding period they looked strong uh, yeah. in that second half they really did and, and to, kind of yeah, blew to pull, away, to pull away like from from England like yeah. that who are such an elite team at that level it was a real statement that being said though um France shipped a load of points in the first half and then spent the second half crawling back in six nations yeah, yeah, against yeah. England and not not quite getting it done so there's question marks about that English uh, England side in terms of staying power with the the top top teams mm -hmm. uh, it, won't, it won't tend to matter when they in the majority of their fixtures when they play the non-professional non sides they're yeah. just going to swat them aside but it's, it was interesting that's what's interesting about this tournament is you just get to see those elite teams play against each other in a way that you don't really mm -hmm. even see in the World Cup like, yeah, I think um, on the field mm -hmm. like it takes a bit of a reach because when you're talking to like a, a marketing person or a business person they're going to just look at the attendance which I think it was they were sort of hung out to dry in that regard and they're mm. going to look at the pitch and they're just going to say there's nothing here for but us I don't see money or whatever yeah, I don't yeah. see money exactly yeah. right but I think there's there's on the pitch in terms of entertainment value I know we're knees deep in this rugby game so we're not necessarily mm. speaking for the average punter yes but I think there was enough there in that tournament to convince you know your unions world mm. rugby your advertising companies your broadcasting companies that there's a product here there's yeah. a product here that needs to be like it needs to be invested in world rugby needs to make the effort to make the pitch better. make it better make, make the make ground the better make, make it yeah organize the ground make the pitch to sponsors go out get out and sell it mm -hmm. because it's there and i tell you women's sport in general is is on the massive rise it For is sure. like the one of the fastest growing 
for sure. uh, entities yeah, in the yeah. world and to watch the Women's Football World Cup yeah, and we recently had just draw drummer. massive crowds. Did. Yeah, and numbers, massive viewing crowds. numbers as well. Yeah, it, um, people, like the state, every stadium was full. Everyone was watching it, but we watched it. Um, mm. It was, and it was as good an end product as, as a football tournament can be. It was certainly better than watching Ireland play football. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> and, uh, indeed, and absolutely the same dynamic exists mm. when we talk about the, um, the, the, the women's rugby game and, and world rugby need to have the foresight to make that happen for sure and i think this this tournament has such potential i hope to see it come back next year yes. i think it's, it's and be done better and be done better yeah yeah then yeah. learn from phase one but like those five teams excellent value and they're going to deliver mm. excellent management matches like, maybe make the turnaround slightly longer come on get the finger out but that's we're not talking that, yeah and, and that, that did but, affect like every side had a loss on the books and yeah. that's probably a reason why yeah well canada yeah. losing to the u.s is probably not reflective of them being a worse team than the no, u.s but it's probably them coming through several bruising encounters their fourth in game in 16 days mental mental no team can match the physical stakes mm. for that length be that in men's or women's rugby yeah. it's still rugby and it's going to hurt and it's going to be a physical toll and even that canadian team are quite forward or forward oriented and set Indeed. Piece oriented so that, that's so that's how they win games yeah. and when you're playing that often you can't be at your physical peak and you're you're playing to mind yourself a little bit mm -hmm. and you're getting tired quicker yeah you just so you lose that physical so, edge, yeah. which is where their game comes from. Yeah. So they were, sure, we've seen that with Ireland teams over yeah. the, the years as well. But very physical kind yeah. of Ireland teams that are built on emotion mm -hmm. and they can never really go five yeah. games in a row. It's always exactly. there's always one dip. Yeah. More than anybody else, it hurt Canada. It did, um, yeah. which is a shame. So yeah, absolutely. Mm. More turnarounds, a bit of sponsor money. Credit to Sky Sports for broadcasting because that saved it. Yeah, and I added, added an air of legitimacy to it, and they yeah. got it was good. They got that commentator whose name escapes me at the moment. The Kiwi, uh, she does some Super Rugby as well, but she's great commentator. She's a really good commentator. Knows his, yeah. knows her stuff really well. Had her in there to help partner the two American kind of co yes, commentators. Yeah, who, yeah, yeah. If it was just those two, it would have been pretty disastrous. But it's good <laughs> to kind of sprinkle a Kiwi totally. in there. <laughs> so to get some some good broadcasting of it is massive and then obviously um uh the the on the pitch behavior from the teams involved like was going to be the making or breaking of it and mm -hmm. it was high level quality rugby really, it was great thoroughly entertaining dynamic football matches we didn't know who was going to win yeah everybody was winning everybody won a game everybody lost a game um, so there was a lot to like. Yeah, um, it was great, just yeah. competitive. It better, better even than the Six Nations as far as end product on the rugby pitch because they were all competitive games yeah. with competitive teams in it. So yeah, really dug that and well done, World Rugby for putting it on. It can be done better. Let's have it be yes. better next year. Totally, you know? absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that's the final word on it. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. Thanks for watching the Overlap Rugby podcast. If you want to. Uh, subscribe there should be a button up here don't forget to give us a like and uh, share with your friends and uh, please leave comments down below we love the conversation thanks